Tell me about your mother's role in keeping you alive. My mother kept me alive, first of all, by always talking to me about good things about home, about the family. Whenever she had a chance, she, we, I knew, I found out more about my family while I was with her than I did when I was at home. She, she always tried to protect me. Like for instance, in one camp, uh, we were taken and, and put on our knees at the entrance and um, they were either going to put us on the truck or shot, shoot us because the soldiers were standing with their guns. So in rows, women and children. So we were like this and in the beginning I was, uh, I think, in front of my mother and then when there was a little bit, the, uh, the soldiers were a little bit moving around, my mother grabbed me and put me behind her. And she gave me instructions, for instance, if they start shooting, you get under me and don't move until they're away and you can get back to the barrack or to somebody that you know. That's the kind of mother I had. Would you have survived Auschwitz if you hadn't been with your mother? No. No, because I would have not, I would have not had anybody, never mind hiding me here or hiding me there, but my mind would have been gone.